How much do you pay your phone carrier every month? Chances are it's more than you'd like to be paying. Well, there's a new service called Freedom Pop that, true to its name, wants to liberate you from the tyranny of Verizon, AT&T, and all the other major carriers you know and probably hate. Introducing the world's first phone with free voice, free text, and free data. Wait, did they really say free data? How free can that data possibly be? Let's take a look. Here's what's really free. Calls and texts. Freedom Pop gives you unlimited free texts and 200 free minutes per month, which many of us, myself included, don't even come close to. So if you really use your phone just as a phone, this might be a pretty good deal. However, if you use your phone like a lot of people use their phones these days for interneting, it's not exactly free per se. First, you'd have to get one of the select WiMAX friendly Android phones they offer, not listed yet on their site. For coverage, the casual plan gets you two gigs for free for the first month and 18 bucks a month thereafter. 29 bucks a month will get you four gigs. Meanwhile, 500 megabytes are free, but if you go over these caps, you'll be paying two cents per megabyte. And considering how many of us rely on Google Maps, email, streaming, and whatever else we may use data for on our phones, that can add up pretty quick. But when you consider the average consumer uses about 500 megabytes of data a month, that still sounds pretty reasonable. However, right now Freedom Pop is running on Clearwire's WiMAX network and a CDMA, which is reputed to be pretty slow. Freedom Pop says it will access Sprint's 4G network sometime in 2013. Freedom Pop phones will be open to the public later this summer. So this might be a good option if you're a light data user and you don't necessarily care about having the latest and greatest device. But they're not the only company trying to topple the telecom giants right now. In the same vein, a small carrier called Republic Wireless harvests Wi-Fi signals to enable internet use on your phone for little cost, 19 bucks a month. They've configured a Motorola phone, the Defy XT, to make calls on Wi-Fi and to switch automatically to Sprint 3G when you're not around a wireless network. And if you've been a bit spoiled by a speedy LTE experience on your phone, you might find it tough to adapt back to 3G. There's also Ting, which lets you choose plans based on the sliding scale of how many minutes, texts, and bytes of data you actually use. If you go over, Ting bumps you up to the next level without overage fees. Same if you go under in the form of a credit on your next bill. With Ting, you'll also get tethering and hotspot for free. What's the catch with Ting? Well, there are no contracts, but that also means that yes, you'll have to pay the full price for your device. So yes, alternative carriers aren't without their drawbacks, but it's tough to argue with the savings. So if you're open to using one of these compatible Android phones and you're really sick of your carrier, you could take a second look at some of these services. Even if you don't, I think we can all agree that more consumer-focused carrier options are a good thing for everybody. For TFN, this is Annie.